Frankie Montas making his 14th turn of this season just snapped a career high five game losing streak. Merrifield on Merrifield like numbers. He's batting 224 with three homers. Now the pitch the old one to Merrifield It's a ground ball left side and through into left for a base hit and that's the way our ball game begins. And that'll bring up Andrew Benintendi. And now Andrew Benintendi. And he'll go the other way. And the Royals open the game with back to back singles. The Royals will be swinging early because they know Montas is going to try to get ahead with a four seamer or the two seamer. So here's Salvador Perez, the veteran catcher. Well hit deep center field. Pache is back, and that's going to be up against the wall. Merrifield scores. Benintendi holds at the last moment. So it's an RBI double for Salvi, and the Royals lead 1-0. Coming right in there, it, it, it barreled in, a board in, and he barreled it out for sure. Three hits, two strikeouts, and a walk. And here's Kyle Isbell. Broken bat behind first. Seth Brown is there, foul territory, and he makes the catch. So a run for the Royals, and they leave him loaded. Bottom of the first coming up. And so it'll be Daniel Lynch. Daniel lately has gotten off to a good start and then has struggled in the later innings. Chad Pinder, veteran at the age of 30 out of Virginia Tech. Isbell runs to the side wall and makes the catch. He looked down to see where he was, and when he looked back up, the ball was on him. Well, that's a tremendous out there on not a routine play. First game here, wind swirls out there just like it does in San Francisco. And look at that recovery. Go to pull, they have the shift. And Murphy, a right-handed hitter. Got him. So Murphy really had trouble with Daniel Lynch slider. Daniel strikes out two, and the Royals lead 1-0 at the end of one. Benintendi, he singled to left field in the first inning, helping set up the Royals' run. Off the end of the bat, and that's in for a base hit. Here comes Nicky Lopez around third, and he will score. So Ben Intendi drives in the Royals' second run. 3-0, came back with two straight strikes, and then look at that's how you hit that split finger. Boy, that was designed to, to miss his bat, but look at how he went down with that back leg. Here's Jonah Bride, 3 for 10 in his first week in the big league. Yeah, once again, here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Elvis is running. It's lined to left for a base hit. Elvis not going to stop at second. He goes to third. And the A's have runners at first and third on Jonah Bride's fourth major league hit. And now the bases are loaded. Pinder, the batter. Perez with the block. Elvis is going to try to score, and he will. <laughs> the ball only trickled about seven or eight feet away from Perez, but I think that was part of Elvis Andrus just being able to get a huge lead. I mean, to the point where maybe a quarter of the way to home play. Elvis is down there looking for that free 90 feet. Pinder's got a base hit to right field. Here comes Jonah Bride. Here comes the throw, and they're going to hold him up. So Bushy with the the stop sign as Bride was rounding third. That base hit would have scored a run, and now Lynch goes back to work facing Ramon Laureano. Ground ball to short. Junior is going to go to first. He first wanted to go to second, but Merrifield was out of position with the shift. So the A's get one, but they add a ton to Lynch's pitch count. And we've reached the third inning, and Sal Perez will lead off. He has driven in one of the Royals' runs tonight. Oh! And Salvi hits one to center field. I don't think Pache is going to get to this one, and it's gone. So Salvi has a double to center, and now he has a home run to center. And the Royals get the run back. They lead 3-1 in the third. Oh, man, Salvi lethal tonight. Two times crushing balls. Now this one here, he mashes it, 11th homer. With nobody on and one out, it is Sean Murphy, their catcher, right hand hitter. Target is down and away, and a changeup is swung on and missed. So Davidson will stand in. He struck out his first time up. Got him. So Lynch has a 1 2 3 bottom of the third inning with three strikeouts, and that gives him six. So first and third, here's Melendez, who's struck out and walked. Here's the pitch by Frankie, and that's swung on a high fly ball. 
Right field, playable, drifting back is Laureano. That'll score the run. He's there near the track to make the catch. Witt tags and scores. Perez holds it first, and the Royals take a 4-1 to lead. On a sack fly to right by the rookie M.J. Melendez. First and second, two out, fifth inning, 4-1 to KC. To Michael A. Taylor. The 3-2 delivery to Taylor is swung on a high pop-up on the infield. Elvis and Davidson, third baseman Davidson, 50 back, under it now. Give me way, and it drops! And the run scores from third, and it's now a 5-1 to game. It's ruled a hit. Perez trotted home easily. He saw Elvis out of the corner of his eye, and I don't know what happened, but the ball landed right between those two guys. Christian Pache, right-handed batter. Here's the pitch, and that swung on a miss on a pitch away, and that's another strikeout, and that pitch was a foot outside. So here's Pinder. And now he strikes out his ninth. Lynch has retired nine straight. So Bethancourt, a right-handed hitter. Got him with a changeup. And now Daniel Lynch has a career high 10. Go ahead, Daniel. Man. The A's trying to get back in it. They're down 5 to 1. We're in the bottom of the six. Jonah Bride. Fastball is over the outside edge. So Coleman ends up with two strikeouts, both looking, and the A's strand two in the bottom of the sixth. Here's Hunter Dozier, who's going to hit for the fifth time. Backhanded by Elvis Andrews. Jump throw to first and a nice play by Seth Brown on the other end. And Elvis Andrews looking sharp. So nicely done by both guys. Bottom of the ninth coming up. Bottom of the ninth inning. One on, one out. Royals leading 5-1. to one. Josh Stama comes out of the bullpen to throw for Kansas City. Broken bat and a fly ball to right field. And Isbell is there. So Stamont pulls it together. The A's strand two in the bottom of the ninth. And the Royals have won back-to-back -back road games for the first time this year, beating the A's tonight 5-1.